Surya, Sanskrit, Surya Iast, Surya is a Sanskrit word that means the sun. Synonyms of Surya in ancient Indian literature include Aditya, Arka, Banu, Savitru, Pushana, Ravi, Martanda, Mitra, and Vivasvana. Surya also connotes the solar deity in Hinduism, particularly in the Sora tradition found in states such as Rajasthan, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Bihar, Maharashtra, Uttar Pradesh, Jharkhand, and Odisha. Surya is one of the five deities considered as equivalent aspects and means to realizing Brahman in the Smarta tradition. Surya's iconography is often depicted riding a chariot harnessed by horses, often seven in number which represent the seven color rays of the rainbow. In medieval Hinduism, Surya is also an epithet for the major Hindu gods Shiva, Brahma and Vishnu. In some ancient texts and arts, Surya is presented syncretically with Indra, Ganesha or others. Surya as a deity is also found in the arts and literature of Buddhism and Jainism. Surya is one of the nine heavenly planets, Navagraha, in the zodiac system of Hindu astrology. Surya or Ravi is the basis of Ravavera, or Sunday, in the Hindu calendar. Major festivals and pilgrimages in reverence of Surya include Makara Sankranti, Pongal, Ratha Saptami, Chath Puja, and Kumbha Mela. Texts and history Topic. Vedic The oldest surviving Vedic hymns, such as the hymn 1.115 of the Rigveda, mention Surya with particular reverence for the rising sun and its symbolism as dispeller of darkness, one who empowers knowledge, the good and all life. However, the usage is context-specific. In some hymns, the word Surya simply means sun as an inanimate object, a stone or a gem in the sky Rigvedic hymns 5.47, 6.51 and 7.63, while in others it refers to a personified deity. The Vedas assert sun Surya to be the creator of the material universe Prakrita. In the layers of Vedic texts, Surya is one of the several trinities along with either Agni or Varuna and either Vayu or Indra, which are presented as an equivalent icon and aspect of the Hindu metaphysical concept called the Brahman. In the Brahmana's layer of Vedic literature, Surya appears with Agni fire god in the same hymns. Surya is revered for the day, while Agni for its role during the night. The idea evolves, states Kapila Vatsyayan, where Surya is stated to be Agni as the first principle and the seed of the universe. It is in the Brahmana's layer of the Vedas, and the Upanishads that Surya is explicitly linked to the power of sight, to visual perception and knowledge. He is then interiorized to be the eye as ancient Hindu sages suggested abandonment of external rituals to gods in favor of internal reflections and meditation of gods within, in one's journey to realize the Atman soul, self within, in texts such as the Brihadaranyaka Upanishad, Chandogya Upanishad, Kashataki Upanishad and others. Topic. Epics The Mahabharata epic opens its chapter on Surya that everentially calls him as the eye of the universe, soul of all existence, origin of all life, goal of the Samkhyas and Yogis, and symbolism for freedom and spiritual emancipation. In the Mahabharata, Karna is the son of Surya and unmarried princess Kunti. The epic describes Kunti's trauma as an unmarried mother, then abandonment of Karna, followed by her lifelong grief. Baby Karna is found and adopted by a charioteer but he grows up to become a great warrior and one of the central characters in the great battle of Kurukshetra where he fights his half-brothers. He was killed unfairly by his brother and Karna, after fighting against misfortune throughout his life, finally returned back to his father. <laughs> Buddhist Surya is celebrated as a deity in Buddhist artwork, such as the ancient works attributed to Ashoka. He appears in a relief at the Mahabodhi temple in Bodhgaya, riding in a chariot pulled by four horses, with Usha and Pratyusha on his sides. Such artwork suggests that the Surya as symbolism for the victory of good over evil is a concept adopted in Buddhism from an earlier Indic tradition. Topic. Greek and Persian influences Sun is a common deity in ancient and medieval cultures found in South America, Europe, Africa and Asia. The features and mythologies of Surya share resemblances with H. Ver Sheta of pre-Islam Persia, and the Helios Sol deity in the Greek-Roman culture. 
Surya is a Vedic deity, states Elgud, but its deity status was strengthened from the contacts between ancient Persia and India during the Kushan era, as well as after the 8th century when sun-worshipping Parsis moved to India. Some Greek features were incorporated into Surya iconography in post-Kushan era, around mid-first millennium, according to Elgud. Iconography The iconography of Surya in Hinduism varies with its texts. He is typically shown as a resplendent standing person holding lotus flower in both his hands, riding a chariot pulled by one or more horses typically seven. The seven horses are named after the seven meters of Sanskrit prosody, Gayatri, Brihati, Ushna, Jagati, Trishtuba, Anushtuba and Pankti, the Brihat Samhita, a Hindu text that describes architecture, iconography and design guidelines, states that Surya should be shown with two hands and wearing a crown. In contrast, the Vishnudharmatara, another Hindu text on architecture, states Surya iconography should show him with four hands, with flowers in two hands, a staff in third, and in fourth he should be shown to be holding writing equipment kundi palm leaf and pen symbolizing knowledge. His chariot driver in both books is stated to be Aruna who is seated. Two females typically flank him, who represent the dawn goddesses named Usha and Pratyusha. The goddesses are shown to be shooting arrows, a symbolism for their initiative to challenge darkness. The iconography of Surya has also varied over time. In some ancient arts, particularly from the early centuries of the Common Era, his iconography is similar to those found in Persia and Greece, suggesting likely adoption of Greek, Iranian, and Scythian influences. After the Greek and Kushan influences arrived in ancient India, some Surya icons of the period that followed show him wearing a cloak and high boots. In some Buddhist artwork, his chariot is shown as being pulled by four horses. The doors of Buddhist monasteries of Nepal show him, along with the Chandra moon god, symbolically with Surya depicted as a red circle with rays, and iconic symbols of Surya include the swastika and the ring stone. Arka, Mitra and other synonyms Surya in Indian literature is referred to by various names, which typically represent different aspects or phenomenological characteristics of the sun. Thus, Savitar refers to one that rises and sets, Aditya means one with splendor, Mitra refers to sun as the great luminous friend of all mankind, while Pushan refers to sun as illuminator that helped the Devas win over Asuras who used darkness. Arka, Mitra, Aditya, Tapan, Ravi and Surya have different characteristics in early mythologies, but by the time of the epics they are synonymous. The term, Arka, is found more commonly in temple names of North India and in the eastern parts of India. The 11th century Konark temple in Odisha is named after a composite word, Kona and Arka, or Arka in the corner. Other Surya temples named after Arka include Uttararka and Lolarka in Uttar Pradesh, and Balarka in Rajasthan. Another 10th-century sun temple ruin is in Barach, Uttar Pradesh named Balarka Surya Mandir, which was destroyed in the 14th century during the Turkish invasions. <laughs> <laughs> Astronomy Surya as an important heavenly body appears in various Hindu astronomical texts in Sanskrit, such as the 5th century Aryabhatiya by Aryabhata, the 6th century Romaka by Latadava and Panka Siddhantika by Varahamahira, the 7th century Khandakadiyaka by Brahmagupta and the 8th century Sishyadivardita by Lala. These texts present Surya and various planets and estimate the characteristics of the respective planetary motion. Other texts such as Surya Siddhanta dated to have been complete sometime between the 5th century and 10th century present their chapters on various planets with deity mythologies. The manuscripts of these texts exist in slightly different versions, present Surya and planets based calculation and its relative motion to Earth. These vary in their data, suggesting that the texts were open and revised over their lives. For example, the first millennium CE Hindu scholars had estimated the sidereal length of a year as follows, from their astronomical studies, with slightly different results. The oldest of these is likely to be the Surya Siddhanta, while the most accurate is the Siddhanta Shiramani. <laughs> Zodiac and astrology Surya's synonym Ravi is the root of the word Ravavera or Sunday in the Hindu calendar. In both Indian and Greek Roman nomenclature for days of the week, the Sunday is dedicated to the sun. 
Surya is part of the Navagraha in Hindu zodiac system. The Hindu astrology based on sun and planets likely developed in the centuries before the arrival of Greek astrology with Alexander the Great, their zodiac signs being nearly identical. Technical horoscopes and astrology ideas in India came from Greece, states Nicholas Campion, and developed in the early centuries of the first millennium CE. In Buddhism In the Buddhism of the Far East, Surya is one of the twelve devas, as guardian deities, who are found in or around Buddhist shrines In Japan, he has been called Nit Ten. He joins these other eleven devas of Buddhism, found in Japan and other parts of Southeast Asia, Indra Teishaku Ten, Agni Ka Ten, Yama Emma Ten, Nirdi Risetsu Ten, Vayu Fu Ten, Ashana Ashana Ten, Kubara Taman Ten, Varuna Sway Ten, Brahma Ban Ten, Prithvi Kai Ten, Chandra Gat Ten. On the Mount Meru Buddhist cosmological system, Surya is considered a female deity, contrasting a male lunar god. Sun temples Surya temples are found in many parts of India. More common than Surya temples are artwork related to Surya, which are found in all types of temples of various traditions within Hinduism, such as the Hindu temples related to Shiva, Vishnu, Ganesha and Shakti. Reliefs on temple walls, forts and artwork above doorways of many Hindu monasteries feature Surya. Many of the temples that contain Surya icons and artwork are dated to the second half of the first millennium CE and early centuries of the second millennium. The 11th century Vaishnava temple at Kadwaha in Madhya Pradesh, for example, features a Surya artwork along with many other gods and goddesses at its doorway. The 8th and 9th century goddess Shaktism temples of central India, similarly engrave Surya along with other Hindu gods within the temple. The 6th century Shiva temple at Gangadhar in Rajasthan includes Surya. Similar mentions are found in stone inscriptions found near Hindu temples, such as the 5th century Mandazar inscription. These temples, states Michael Meister, do not glorify one god or goddess over the other, but present them independently and with equal emphasis in a complex iconography. Cave temples of India, similarly, dedicated to different gods and goddesses feature Surya. For example, the 6th century carvings in the Ellora Caves in Maharashtra as well as the 8th and 9th century artworks there, such as Cave 25, the Kailasha Temple Cave 16, and others feature complete iconography of Surya. Hindu temples predominantly have their primary entrance facing east, and their square principle-based architecture is everentially aligned the direction of the rising Surya. This alignment towards the sunrise is also found in most Buddhist and Jaina temples in and outside of India. Topic. Dedicated temples The most famous Surya temple is the Konark Sun Temple, a World Heritage Site in Orissa. Constructed in the 13th century by the Eastern Ganga dynasty, on a pre-existing pilgrimage site for Surya God, the temple architecture mimics a grand chariot with twelve wheels pulled by seven horses. The temple features Surya in three representations, with the main large Surya destroyed and the temple damaged over repeated Muslim invasions. Besides Konark, there are two other sun temples in Orissa called Baranchi Narayan Sun Temple. There are sun temples in many parts of India, such as Madara, Gujarat. It was sponsored by King Bhimdev of the Chalukya dynasty. Other major Surya temples are found in Arasavali, Andhra Pradesh, Kanakaditya Temple in Kasheli, Dist. Sindhudurg Maharashtra, near the famous Galtaji's temple in Jaipur, Rajasthan and in clusters of Navagraha temples in Tamil Nadu and Assam. The Martin Sun Temple in Jammu and Kashmir was destroyed by Islamic armies. A surviving Surya temple in northern India is Katarmal Surya Mandir in Almora district, Uttarakhand created by King Katarmal in the 12th century. The Gurjars were essentially sun worshippers and some of the sun temples were erected by them during the medieval period. The sun temple known as Jayaditya was constructed by Gurhar king of Nandipuri, Jayabada II. This temple is situated at Kodapura near Kapika in the Barakacha district. The Surya temple of Binmal known as Jagaswami Surya temple was also erected during this period. <inaudible> <inaudible> Surya temples outside India The Sun Temple of Multan in modern-day Pakistan contained a revered statue of Surya. It was one of the focal points of Hindu-Muslim religious conflicts. 
After 871 CE, Multan Panjab was under the rule by Arab princes, who kept the Surya temple hostage and protected it, in order to threaten its destruction if the Hindu Gurjara attacked them. The early Muslim rulers taxed Hindu pilgrims for the privilege to visit the Surya temple, and this provided these rulers an important source of revenue. The Surya temple was destroyed by Ismaili Shia rulers in the late 10th century, who built a mosque atop the site, abandoning the Sunni congregational mosque in Multan. This Ismaili Shia mosque atop the Sun Temple's ruins was then destroyed by the Sunni ruler Mahmud of Ghazni. The Surya Temple was not rebuilt and an empty space left in place, actions that helped re establish the importance of the Sunni mosque in Multan. While Shiva and Vishnu are more common in 1st millennium Southeast Asian artwork such as those found in Cambodia and Thailand, archaeological evidence suggests God Surya were among the pantheon of ideas adopted early in these regions and retained after Buddhism became the dominant tradition. In Nepal, many Surya temples and artworks trace to the medieval era, such as the 11th century Thapahiti and Sagal Tal, and 12th century Noxal stone sculptures. Artifacts discovered at the Sanxingdui culture founded c. 1600 BCE, about 40 km from present-day Chengdu, capital city of Sichuan Province China reveal an ancient worship of sun deity, similar to Surya. The artifacts include a gold sheet with design of four birds flying around the sun deity, and a bronze sculpture of the Surya Chakra. In the United States, the first temple dedicated to Surya, Sri Surya Narayan Mandir, Inc., was built in Queens, NY in 1993. A second temple was built in Ocoee, Florida in 2005. Topic: <laughs> Surya in Indian culture Festivals Various festivals mark deity Surya and these vary regionally in India. Pongal or Makara Sankaranti is the most widely celebrated Hindu festival dedicated to the sun god. These celebrate a good harvest. Other festivals that focus on Surya include Chath of Bihar, Eastern Uttar Pradesh and the neighboring regions, Samba Dashami and Ratha Saptami are also major festivals celebrated in honor of Surya. Chath is celebrated immediately after Diwali with fasting for three days followed by bathing in river or tank with remembrance of sun. Similarly Atar Puja is celebrated in Goa. The latter is known as Aditya Ranubai in Maharashtra. The second day of the Pongal Harvest Festival is dedicated to Surya in Tamil Nadu, and is called the Surya Pongal. Another festival named Kartik Puja marks Surya, along with Shiva, Vishnu, Lakshmi, Brahma, Saraswati, Krishna, Balaram, and Tulsi. It is observed by Hindu women, typically with visit to rivers such as the Ganges, socialization, and group singing. Dances The repertoire of classical Indian dances such as the Bharatanatyam include poses that signify rays of light beaming towards all of the universe, as a form of homage to Surya. <laughs> Surya Namaskar Surya Namaskara literally means sun salutation. It is a yoga warm-up routine based on a sequence of gracefully linked asanas. The nomenclature refers to the symbolism of sun as the soul and the source of all life. A yogi may develop a personalized yoga warm-up routine as Surya Namaskar to precede his or her asana practice. The Gayatri mantra is associated with Surya Savitar. The mantra's earliest appearance is in the hymn 3.62.10 of the Rigveda. Gallery Topic. See also Hindu deities Topic. References Topic. Further reading Pingree, David the Mesopotamian Origin of Early Indian Mathematical Astronomy. Journal for the History of Astronomy. Sage, 4 1. Bibcode, 1973JHA.4 1P. doi, 10.1177, Pingree, David. Jayoti Sastra, Astral and Mathematical Literature. 
Otto Harisovitz. ISBN 978-3447021654. Yukio Ohashi Johannes Anderson, ed. Highlights of Astronomy, Vol. 11b. Springer Science. ISBN 978-0-7923-5556-4. External links An Ancient Hymn to Surya, from the Rig Veda Sun Worship in Odisha R. K. Sahu, 2012, Orissa Review Iconography of Surya in the Temple Art of Orissa R. K. Sahu, 2011, Orissa Review